Does the room you're in have an effect on the way that you behave? Welcome. Keep messing up that intro. Welcome to another episode of Here's Something Interesting. Have you ever been at home or at work or really anywhere for that matter, and you have a task in mind that you want to do? But then the moment you walk into a new room, you completely forgot what you were gonna do? Now this was really frustrating to me until recently I learned why this happens. I was listening to the audiobook Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. Now in this book, he talks about how environment and specifically changes in environment have a huge impact on the way that we think and the way that we behave. When we experience changes in our surroundings or in our environment, our memory gets disrupted and our brain goes into alert mode. This makes sense from an evolutionary standpoint. Think back to the days of cavemen. They had to worry about changes in their environment leading to predators killing them and eating them. Today, we typically don't need to worry about predators ripping us to pieces. And so the only effect that this phenomenon has on us is that we forget what we we're gonna be doing. This behavior doesn't just happen in humans. It happens in dogs too. Macklin, quit moving around. You're making it hard for me to record this. Take Pavlov's dogs, for instance. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Ivan Pavlov's experiment on classical conditioning. Essentially, he had a bunch of dogs that were in his research lab. And right before he was going to feed them, every single time he would feed them, he would ring a bell. Bell, he would feed them. Bell, he would feed them. Over and over and over again. Until eventually, the dogs became conditioned. The dogs became conditioned to the point where when they heard the bell, they would immediately begin salivating, even if Pavlov didn't actually give them the food. But here's where it ties into changes in environment. Pavlov actually took those dogs and put them into a new research lab and had different researchers perform the same experiment on those dogs. And what happened when those new researchers rang the bell? Nothing. The dogs did not respond in the way that anyone would have expected. They just didn't respond at all. They didn't behave the way that they were conditioned to because the changes in their environment had that big of an impact on the dogs. Even Cialdini himself, a psychology expert, fell victim to this phenomenon when he was writing the book that I was listening to. A little backstory for you. Even though Cialdini is a psychology expert and he held a position working at a university, he wanted to write the persuasion book for the average person, the common man. While he was writing persuasion, he had two different offices. One office was at his university and one office was at his home. After spending a lot of time writing the book, he realized that the chapters he wrote while he was at his home office were far better than the ones that he wrote while he was at his work office. I'm using the term better in a very specific way here. Better for the audience to which he was writing. At his university office, he was constantly surrounded by cues that subconsciously reminded him that he was a professor. He had scholarly and academic books and journals and certificates and all the things surrounding him that reminded him of that. The chapters that he wrote when he was in that university environment were way too convoluted and heavy in terminology for any common person to actually enjoy reading. But when he worked from his home office, he had a window overlooking a path outside where thousands of people would walk by every day. So when Cialdini was in an environment where he was unconsciously reminded of the common people that he would be writing this book for, he actually wrote his chapters in a more meaningful and digestible way. The content itself was basically the same, but the way that it was presented was much better for his target audience. Knowing this new information, can you think of a time that your environment has impacted your memory or your behavior or the behavior of those around you? I'm really curious. Comment below and let me know. I know that it happens to me all the time, specifically walking into a new room and forgetting what I was going to do. What was I going to do again? That's all for this week's video. I upload new videos every Thursday, so if you enjoy this one and you want to see more just like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button there on YouTube. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay curious.